This video was presented by the EA Creator Network. Hey, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. My name is Jen, aka Urban Sims, and welcome to the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. We're going to be throwing it back to the early like Sims 3 days where people literally just booted up their game with no prior notion or experience with it and just kind of went from there because I am so late to the CFE access. In fact, I'm actually getting access on July 12th, which is one whole day before access ends. I don't know. We had some hiccups in the system, but we've got it all ironed out and I'm so excited to explore this pack with you. So let's start off with the info card. Own and train horses. Customize hoofed friends and create a sim or get new horses by rescuing, purchasing, or breeding. Learn the riding skill and train horses in temperament, agility, and jumping skills to compete at the Aquarian Center. Bond with animals. Fill your ranch with adorable mini goats and mini sheep and invite neighbors to see how cute they are. Raise foals to become lifelong companions and champions. Make a life on the ranch. Spend your days keeping your animals happy and clean, harvesting prairie grass to feed them, collecting manure to fertilize your plants, and making your own nectar. Do it all on a ranch you design. Enjoy a thriving community. Chestnut Ridge has a lively social scene. Your sims can go into town to meet friends at the bar, blow off steam at the dance hall, or train at the Aquarian Park. They can also host cookouts and dances on their ranch and hire a ranch hand to help them when the work builds up. So like I mentioned earlier, this isn't going to be like a complete cast walkthrough or anything. I just really want to dive into the meat of this pack and start exploring with horses and gameplay and things of that nature. If I have time though, I will do a dedicated create a sim and build by and all that jazz like I typically do. But I did still want to give you guys a very light tour of cast if that's cool. So here is our sim for this little demo. Her name name is Jordan Patino. She is currently a champion writer, at least that's her aspiration. There's actually two different aspirations with this brand new expansion. The first one, of course, is again, champion writer. This sim wants to be one of the world's premier horse riders and will prove it by participating in horse competitions. There's actually another aspiration that's also included in this expansion, and that one is expert nectar maker, which honestly, if I had the choice, I probably would play with this over the champion writer aspiration um but it says this sim wants to master the art of nectar making owning their abilities to consistently craft only the best nectars they also want to make an absurd amount of simoleons while smashing grapes between their toes that honestly sounds like heaven to me i would love to do that i did want to show you guys the two new traits so we have horse lover and this one says these sims share a strong bond with horses they have an easier time socializing with animals and caring for horses than other sims. I believe there's also like one other one and it is rancher. These sims excel at ranch life and take pride in their work. They enjoy ranch chores and caring for their livestock. I originally did a horse lover because I do feel like Jordan is a horse lover, but also like I feel kind of like rancher is probably a little more important than being ambitious. So we're just gonna, we're gonna swap those out really quick. And I love the animation for that one. That was super cute. Let's see if there's a new animation for horse lover. Okay, it kind of looks like the same ones from cats and dogs but this animation is definitely new all right so if we go in to likes and dislikes there is a brand new music genre and it is ranch music so that's kind of cool i could totally be making this up but i think carnival beats is also a new music genre maybe let me know in the comments down below because i'm pretty sure i have never seen this before but let me just take you through jordan's outfit so that you can kind of get an idea of what horse ranch has to offer in terms of of cast. So here is Miss Jordan's everyday wear. I think it's perfect for working on the ranch, taking care of the livestock. The second outfit definitely kind of takes it up a little bit. I think actually, to be honest with you, this is probably better for taking care of the livestock or taking care of the ranch rather. And this one's just kind of more like that in-between phase, like more casual too. Also super comfy. Love the new shoes. I really do like um, the overall cast catalog for this pack. 
obviously off camera I did kind of look through it and stuff but there are a couple things that I kind of wanted to point out that weren't necessarily like my favorites here is her formal wear there is a ton of new like jewelry and stuff like that that I think is absolutely beautiful I feel like this catalog is very distinct like you can see the direction it's very 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 specific um, for her sleepwear I did give her one of the new little like off the shoulder t-shirts it's a little graphic tee this one has like a little cowboy on it and then you can kind of filter through and you'll get some other different options like with horses and and things like that but I thought this was a super cute little graphic tee for her party wear she is wearing a little combination of like this little blouse here I don't know what kind of blouse this would be called but I've seen it before like I think we kind of have maybe a couple of these already in game or through various packs it's cute but it's nothing like distinct or proprietary by any means however this beautiful beautiful denim skirt absolutely is I love like the thick chunky belt and then I also paired it with um, some of these brand new cowboy boots are also a part of the pack and then if you kind of go up a little bit closer to miss jordan's here you can see another pair of earrings so let's just move on to hot weather this is one of the dresses here and you guys already kind of saw like her earrings i'm not going to go into like hot weather and cold weather because honestly it really doesn't matter too much it feels so strange to me that i'm not showing you guys every single little asset that is in the cast catalog for horse ranch but i did want to share with y'all this cute little onesie for infants it is the only asset within horse ranch for infants which is a bit of a bummer but I will say this onesie definitely definitely takes the cake it is so freaking cute I love all the different swatches and different variations I think it's adorable um, also in case you were wondering there is a little something for everybody within the expansion so no matter what age group that you were currently playing with there will at least be one asset for them that will pertain to horse ranch which I definitely think is nice I just took a quick glance back at the footage and I just realized how weird I said horse ranch horse ranch i don't know why i said it like i had a mouthful of marbles but anyways here we are in select the world so this is the brand new chestnut ridge let's read off the world description it says this community formed when several groups embraced their mutual connection to horses and the land the area soon became known as a hub for all things Esquarian, a town steeped in expertise with raising and training horses set against a beautiful and expansive landscape. Over time, the area became famous for another endeavor, as the rich soil brought in the new enterprise of nectar making. Thanks to the hard work of everyone involved, the region flourished and became the Chestnut Ridge it is today. Alrighty, so here we are in Chestnut Ridge. This is the first time that I'm actually looking at the world firsthand, and I like it. I love how over here it kind of has more of like a deserty terrain. We have like these beautiful canyons and ridges and whatnot, and then down here it is definitely a little more green a little more lush the world itself looks like it's broken up into three different regions the first region is the galloping gulch lauded as one of the go-to regions for horse riding the gulch is chock full of gorgeous trails and stunning outlooks explore the gulch's wonders as you honor the noble horses that have passed on steeds rest explore the dead horse cavern or enjoy time under the stars at the saddle summit campgrounds here in the heart of chestnut Ridge, we have New Appaloosa. The historic New Appaloosa serves as a hub for horse riders, ranchers, and nectar makers. Whether competing at the Hay Now Aquarian Center, enjoying a night at the dance hall, or savoring nectar with good friends, this old watering hole has something for everyone. The last region is Riders Glen. Watched over by the trusty seed rock known as Old Biscuit to the locals, Riders Glen has been home to generations of ranchers and nectar makers with the open space for ranch animals ideal conditions for nectar making and kind neighbors to boot riders glen is a welcome community for all walks of life all there's left to do now is just to find jordan a home i'm taking a quick gander on the map and i'm definitely feeling a little perplexed kind of torn in a thousand different directions right now because here in the riders glen we could pick up the red Roan field for nine thousand nine hundred and eighty 
87 simoleons and have the entire lot to ourselves, but we would have to build upon it. And that obviously is going to cost some simoleons. Or we could move into the heart of the city and move into the cozy corner for 17,000 simoleons. But as you guys can see, that lot looks pretty teensy tiny. I don't know. Our final option is located in the Galloping Gulch and it is the P Junction, which will cost our entire loot, but we get a pretty large lot to play around with. And I noticed within all of the lots, there's a brand new lot challenge called Wild Prairie Grass. I wonder how that does pose as a challenge personally, because I heard in like the description or I read in the description rather for this entire pack that it was a good thing. Anyways, after giving it like two seconds of thought, I definitely think we're going to go with the P Junction just for the simple fact that this is going to give us a lot more space to play around with horses and maybe even get some of those cute little like micro are they like micro farm animals? I don't know. Anyways, I just feel like this is the better option. Hopefully, I don't end up regretting this later. So let's just take a little look around our brand new home and also get a peek of this beautiful, beautiful world. Now, we are not allowed to have reshade on our early access footage, but you guys, I don't mean to like <laughs> toot, toot some horns here, but holy freaking guacamole and queso this world is beautiful is that like a broken bridge over here it kind of looks like it is it looks like yeah so it's like a broken rope bridge or something this world is absolutely stunning i just noticed down here there's like a little community board let's check this out and oh hey hi danny how are you doing all right so on the community board we can do a bunch of different things we can call the ranch animal exchange we can research ranch animal info there's also also, this little community jobs tab, which I thought was super duper cute because it kind of reminds me of the odd jobs from, I believe, Island Living. And uh, so we can like train neighbors horses. We can give horse riding lessons for adults. We can also haul neighbors hay cargo and a bunch of other different things too. And then we can enter competitions from the community board, hire a ranch hand, do some horse training, learn about residents, and even plan a ranch event, which is also pretty neat. Now, if we go up and over the ridge here, we have, again, some of our neighbors. There's a bunch of, like, different bridges and tons of areas where you can, like, uh, I guess train your horses, I guess. Maybe that's what that is. And then you can even come over here and have, like, a little a little campfire. And then you can, um, I think, go to the bathroom. Is that what that is? Yeah, it looks, like it, it looks like it's an outhouse, potentially. I love how it's also a little bit of an overlook, too. There is so much going on in this part of the world. It's actually actually pretty crazy because I feel like a lot of the Sims 4 worlds are pretty kind of vague honestly there's not a lot of detail to them but so far I'm really liking the uh the galloping gulch like look at this little sign over here I think that's so cute I'm not gonna lie your girl's feeling kind of stupid right now because I just realized I didn't show you guys horses and create a sim at least I think that's a possibility I honestly didn't even <laughs> check it out but I know there's other ways that you can obtain horses you can actually go on your phone and via home you can call the ranch animal exchange there you're able to rescue a horse for 250 simoleons but I think it's kind of like a crapshoot like you don't know what you're gonna get or for a thousand simoleons you can purchase a horse but obviously because I love my sims to be broke we have insufficient funds so that's not an option and if you decide to breed your horses you can actually sell the foals or the offspring which kind of sounds fun to me honestly the last option is to buy a mini goats and mini sheep I think I've already decided how Jordan's gonna get her first horse but I did want to show you guys how <laughs> horses look like in create a sim because I think that's kind of the point so um very much like cats and dogs you're just gonna go up here add a sim you're gonna head into add a pet so I guess horses are you know pets technically and then you can add your horse <gasps> this is the first time that I've ever actually seen them in game and I like them oh my god look at that beautiful beautiful saddle okay so over here there are a bunch of different breeds I'm not gonna even try to read these off but I will go off and show you a few. So here we have the American Paint Horse, the American Quarter Horse. I love these horses. Look at the braid, you guys. They are so pretty. This is the American Saddlebred. Wow. Okay, you know what? There's a horse that I'm kind of... There it is. There it is. Is this the Clydesdale? I always wondered what they were named. I love like their little... 
I don't know what they're called. Hoof skirts. <laughs> they're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The barb. I love that. <laughs> Nicki Minaj fans know exactly what that's about, but yeah, these are these are some really pretty horses. I hope my volume isn't too loud. It probably is, honestly. Oh my god, they're so cute. What is a what is oh I'm tempted. What does a foal look like? The Galineers. What is this? The Galineers cob. <gasps> these horses, you guys, are stunning. And there's so many different freaking breeds. Like, not to be dramatic or anything, but for some reason, I just didn't anticipate so many of them. Like, there are a lot to choose from. I'm kind of feeling a little a little overwhelmed right now. So, in terms of being able to pick your breed, you're also able to fine-tune your horse, control their body. You can also uh, pick a different hairstyle or pick a hairstyle for them. So, there's a bunch of different, like, manes that you can choose from. I think you can also choose, like, their little, what is this called? A forelock. I am not a horse girl, okay? So, if you are, you're, you're into the horses and you're like, Jen, you are making me die inside because you literally don't know what the hell you're doing. I literally don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I called these, what do they call these? Like horse capes or something or horse stockings. I don't even remember what I said. They're feathers. That's what they're called. See, I would have never, ever, ever, ever guessed that in a million years. But I love that you can select like the thickness of coat and you can select, you know, all the different details of your horse. You can even go into the coat and pattern so if you do have some fam familiarity with the um uh, the options with cats and dogs in terms of being able to customize your pet. It's kind of the same thing. Obviously, it's just the horse edition. So you can go into outfits and you can choose your saddle. Okay, so there's a bunch of like different saddle types. Well, there's literally three different options if I'm being completely honest. And then we can pick our brindles. There's two, two options of those. And then we have like the blankets that obviously goes under the saddle to make the horse more comfortable to protect from like you know rubbing or chafing and things like that there's probably other reasons oh yeah maybe the saddle not falling could be another one and there's accessories there's like a cute little a cute little horse cowboy hat oh my god you're lying it's even a matching rose wreath and rose butt bow i think that is so freaking cute and then we have like little leg warmers too so yeah there's a there's a little there's a little idea or a little sneak peek of what horses look like and i guess you can maybe pose your horse i don't know why you would want them to do this maybe so that you could actually um get in there and see all the little details if you wanted to really really customize your horse all right so let's see up here with identity i want to see what an elder horse looks like oh my goodness they get all like old and, and gray oh my heart i love that why does he look so sad oh he's like contemplating his life he's like get me out of here same so here's a full i want to see what this looks like oh my goodness he's so cute kind of looks like a giraffe i'm not gonna lie they are so adorable oh my god y'all i'm obsessed i think these are so <laughs> freaking cute i'm actually really in love let's check out some of the traits here um we have aggressive brave defiant free spirit fearful energetic friendly independent intelligent needy and mellow. Back to what I was saying earlier about Miss Jordan here. I think she would actually rescue a horse, but <laughs> I noticed our funds went up for some reason, and I think it's because I added the horse to our household, but I actually didn't follow through with it, and for whatever reason, the game still gave me the money, so now we have 2,500 simoleons, and I am not. I am not giving it back. Before we rescue a horse, or maybe even just purchase one, or explore both options, rather, I want to give y'all a quick little tour of our lot so miss jordan now lives in a little cabin in the backyard we have what appears to be some sort of like a track i don't think that's what it's called it's probably called something else but again i'm blinking my brain is literally like <laughs> flatlining right now so i can't even tell you what the name of this is but it does look pretty cool and i noticed that even like the surrounding area also has like a bunch of different um hurdles and jumps and things so underneath this little uh i don't know what this is like it's almost like a little shed kind of thing we have what appears to be a bed i think this is a bed for a horse is this where you would feed 
Okay, yeah. No, this is a horse feeder. Cool. All right. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> and tell me you don't know anything about horses without selling me. You don't know anything about horses. So this is our little cabin. Super duper small. We have a beautiful little dinette. These are the, uh, I do believe these are the brand new chairs that come with the expansion. This is a new painting. The beautiful fireplace. We have a little coffee table here. A nice little, I wouldn't even call this honestly like a couch. It's more like a bench, but oh, my god wow i don't know why but i really 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 like this little this little end piece here so here's our bathroom we have a brand new rustic shower i love like the little the little horseshoe curtain this is our new sink the toilet and mirror are definitely base game and if we move into the bedroom i think this is like some sort of rack or at least it looks like it's like a clothing rack it doesn't function it's literally just for decoration purposes only but here is our bed I believe this is new. I believe this rug is also new. And then we have a brand new lamp and end table. If we move into the kitchen, we have uh, some brand new cabinetry, cabinetry. For some reason, I feel like this reminds me a lot of like country kitchen and the stuff that we got in like cottage living. And just I feel like this has been done and done and done time and time again. But I will say I do love like the little farm house style. Like I love that aesthetic so it's nice to have extra stuff sometimes and I do believe these are also some brand new like windows and doors and then there's even some brand new like columns and things just to give you guys a little sneak peek uh, at some of the build assets since again we're just kind of exploring this pack together that's literally what this is just to come and explore the pack with me because there's really no rhyme or reason to any of the videos that I'm doing right now we're just having fun and honestly it's kind of nice I, I like the change of pace so anyway um, I'm gonna see see how much no actually we know already we know this uh, I want to see what it looks like to purchase a horse I'm hoping okay that we just don't end up with whatever because I would be kind of upset I do want to see if we can choose the horse that we would like to add to our family um, and see what the difference is as opposed to maybe just rescuing one so here yeah apple butter cyclone howdy all right, so with purchasing a horse, I think you just would get more control over the actual horse itself. So you have like the pick of different traits and stuff. Um, obviously, again, you can create one. We found that out. But here's Hurricane. Hurricane is a stallion and also a Tennessee walker. Brave, mellow, aggressive, sunburst is an elder. They are a mare. Okay, we have uh, Trojan. <laughs> like the trojan horse i love that um they are energetic aggressive and needy this is i thought this said like super laxative but that's definitely that hush puppy truck oh okay that's cool i definitely want to rescue one i don't know why i think i i think this is a bad idea though i do i think this is a bad freaking idea but we love a good success story due to the environment they came from rescue horses will have more difficult traits some extra attention and care may be needed all right so it does look like for a discount you just get a problematic horse but you still get to choose what problems you would like your horse to come with which is nice so we have a blue bell here who is needy fearful and defiant we have a cha-cha high noon uh jetpack <laughs> olympian and ocean cookie i kind of like ocean cookie i don't wait oh ocean cookie is a nez pierce oh all right and ocean is aggressive and a free spirit and also defiant okay all right we have the american quarter horse which i actually think is the horse that i like is it maybe i don't know intelligent mellow and aggressive i kind of i kind of want jetpack i don't know why i just i just feel like maybe we could work with these traits a little bit easier i mean why not so yeah let's let's rescue jetpack for 250 simoleons wow we got a deal whose horse is this duke gooseman oh my god this is a beautiful 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 i want this one wait hold on america wait what, what kind of horse is this oh it doesn't say it just says adult horse stallion all right so little little jetpack wait we're gonna go oh awesome okay so actually you know like with cats and dogs the adoption person comes to your house that doesn't happen here and we actually go to them so i believe uh duke is owned by dawn 
Cool. So, wow. <laughs> Righty. Control your horse. All right. So, Jetpack and Petito. I don't want to name it Jetpack. Okay. I don't want to name it Kelpie or Chrome or Howdy or Apochilina or Cha Cha. You know what? I definitely need to come up with a good name. And I wish you guys. Ooh, Crimson. No, that wasn't. That wasn't good. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> I just realized I really suck at naming horses. I can't come up with anything. So, we're going to name the horse Da Vinci. <laughs> It's okay. You can laugh at me in the comments. You know what? <laughs> Freedom of speech. Totally fine. So here we go. New horse. Congratulations. You have a horse. Owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. To properly care for a horse, you'll need a handful of items. Stock up from build mode through objects by room. Go to the outdoors section and then animals. Helpful items may include hay now animal feeder, hay now horse water trough, Hey now, horse bed, one big ball, horse jumps or barrels. I think we're good on the jumps and barrels, but we may need to purchase one big ball. There's also a bunch of other things too, like here's some prairie grass. I wonder what happens if we like put this down. It says, unlike some plants, prairie grass grows with no sim care required. Prairie grass is proud to be a perfect food source for ranch animals. If ranching just isn't your thing, prairie grass doesn't judge interesting i might need that is there like prairie grass around i feel like that is something we could actually harvest i don't know if i should purchase this or not like i really just don't even know what the hell i'm doing but maybe i'll grab like a little a little slab of some prairie grass here and see wait oh there's prairie grass right there oh never mind i don't need that okay let me just let me just stick to the basics and grab a little ball we can get like a basketball soccer ball there's all different types that we can choose from i kind of just like the one that we first saw oh no i'm just kidding uh we're gonna get a rainbow ball now can this be used by a full i don't think that it can um i don't know honestly so i guess we'll have to just take it from here and see what happens but here is our little baby oh my goodness super cute we can cradle and uh we can also give little da vinci a dent gentle touch oh my goodness so sweet i love that when you hover over the horse it tells you how they're feeling and like their needs so the everything right now on da vinci is is great and da vinci seems like a very a very proud little little fool i love that all right i wish this dude would take a hike honestly I, I don't mean to be mean or anything but like i really i don't need your horse all up in my business can you just can you do we need to know you or something we probably do so let me just give him a friendly introduction because i feel like there might be a reason why he's here and i'm just like mind your business mind your business he's like top of the morning to you it's actually like mid-afternoon sir but you're old it's fine I, I get it let's brighten day a little bit let's also maybe i don't know ask about the community we're new here um also it looks like Da Vinci has acquired the temperament skill Da Vinci's new skill in temperament will begin to help her it's a her it's a her oh my bad i must have overlooked that information so let's just run it back one more time da vinci's new skill and temperament will begin to help her socialize with sims and other horses as this skill increases socialization will become even easier full-grown horses with high temperament skill are less likely to buck riders and will perform better at certain community jobs and the western pleasure show jumping and ultimate horse championship competitions to track horse skill progress select open profile on da vinci in the relationships panel it's been literally five minutes and da vinci is already over our ish like <laughs> what how did i i don't even want to ask all right so let's just check out the little profile here we are da vinci looking beautiful all right so the value of da vinci is only 250 simoleons but here is our skill board we have about mm, 58 percent progress on temperament so that's cool and then you could also see like the different awards that your sim is won or your horse is won and obviously we have won no competitions but that's actually pretty pretty damn cool i will admit all right and we're just chatting it up with this uh lone ranger here and learning about the uh community and i think let's see uh check in on don we can check in on don like is that like no it's not check out don right like let's just make sure we're not putting those vibes out there you're so fun to be around i really enjoy spending time with you and i hope you feel that way about me too you know what don you're 
you're not too bad. You're you're not too bad. You're definitely definitely a cool dude, and I can kind of see maybe uh possibly taking me taking me underneath your your wing there. So where is little Jordan going off to? She is warming herself, girl. It is not that cold. The sun is shining. Come over here and and bottle feed. <gasps> Are you hungry? Oh, your hunger is good. You know what? We need to we need to fatten you up, Da Vinci. So let's do that. And we can also dive into horse care. I think I already saw or already showed you guys um, what that looks like. But we can or we need to train to eat hay. Jordan has no hay. Try harvesting some prairie grass. Did you guys see that? Oh, little devil. Oh my God! Oh, you're oh, 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 cute. Who oh, knew? Okay, ma'am, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> You'll not be yelling at me and stuff. I'm trying to I'm trying to help converse about being in a, a simulation. Did she just try to nip at me? Ma'am, uh-uh. Is there a way that I can maybe Ooh, I'm getting way too invested. No, I don't wanna be mean. I don't wanna be mean. I just wanna like kind of corrected that behavior all right bye dawn um anyway let's just see if we are able to harvest some prairie grass yeah harvest all prairie grass i'm actually gonna have jordan do that and i think you guys i'm gonna wrap up the very first part of our gameplay session here because i really want to dive even deeper into the gameplay and uh yeah it's getting a little bit late here on my end and also like my room is facing the sun and it's summer so it is hot okay it is really freaking hot but let's Let's just watch Jordan really quickly harvest this prairie grass. And apparently we have also learned about hay. How exciting. Jordan made a discovery while searching the prairie grass. Okay, we made... Oh, <laughs> We found some, ew, we found some horse manure. That must have been really freaking messy. Oh my gosh, there's actually quite a bit and that's a lot challenge. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's actually a positive thing. Is there anything else I need to do? Oh, we need to refill the feeder with prairie grass. I'm gonna do that now. Otherwise, as you guys saw earlier, we can actually pay some Samoans to do that. And we found some spinach in our prairie grass, too. So we are just finding all the goodies. And we've also learned about horse manure, I guess. Oh, okay. Outstanding quality horse manure. Let's check this out. Manure that is highly recommended to use as a fertilizer. Made by cleaning up horse manure. Yum. Can't wait. Achieved by consistently meeting the needs of the horse. Manure from horses that are well cared for is worth more and provides stronger benefits. And then we also have normal quality horse manure and then prairie grass hay i'm impressed we've actually learned quite a bit and it's literally our first day here on our ranch can we call it that is it a ranch i don't know it looks like we've also found a plantain and i think there is some horse manure in our inventory so yeah we have spinach bananas a bunch of different horse manure and then a couple bales of the prairie grass hay here so jordan also almost chopped off her finger she has grass cuts it says harvesting prairie grass always has a chance of getting pesky grass cuts out all right seriously you guys i'm having so much fun already i could definitely keep filming and keep going wait hold on we also found are you lying we found our very first bottle of nectar energy nectar at that yo this definitely is going to come in handy a little bit later but seriously you guys i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this first part here i am going to try to film as many freaking parts episodes whatever you want to call them as i possibly freaking can because i love you guys that much and i'm actually having a lot of fun so far just exploring this pack with you so anyways if that sounds like something you would like to see don't forget to comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time bye guys